Good evening Jacksonville, and welcome to First Coast Weather and News. My name is James Bold, let's get into the evening news. Tonight, we have an update on a terrifying situation in outer space. Overnight, it was reported the International Space Station has lost power. It is unknown why this issue has occurred, and there is currently no estimated repair time on the power supply for the station. This could cause potentially life-threatening effects not just for the people on the station, but also people back down on Earth. The current worst-case scenario fear is that the ISS will collide with other satellites or other space debris. This may start an event known as Kessler Syndrome. Best case scenario for this event actually happening is that it would create a sort of space junk field around the planet, causing limited space travel for potentially years or decades to come. The worst case scenario not only involves what was previously mentioned, but also the potential of space debris or entire pieces of technology falling down to Earth. NASA and the United States government are currently monitoring the situation, and will provide new information as it becomes available. Please stay tuned to news sources over the coming days, and be prepared for a potential Kessler Syndrome event. This is a global emergency. All regularly scheduled programming has been suspended in order to air this important message from the President of the United States. Please stand by for this message regarding a threat to the general safety of all Americans, and to the world as a whole. My fellow Americans, an event of a truly unprecedented scale is currently underway. At around 8 a.m. this morning, it was reported that the International Space Station collided with numerous large pieces of space technology. While what was impacted exactly is currently unknown, it is likely that a Kessler Syndrome event is going to occur shortly. This will likely have repercussions for years, if not decades to come. America's mission to reach far into the stars may have to be put on hold for the near future. But this event will have much more dire consequences in the near term. Expect service outages in television, radio, and cellular devices over the course of the coming weeks. Large pieces of space debris may fall down to Earth with little to no warning. The full extent of the effects that the general public will feel is currently unknown. We as Americans will get through this together, regardless of the short-term consequences of this event. Our hearts go out to the crew that resided on the International Space Station, and we send their families our deepest condolences. Stay strong, America, even through the darkest of times. This has been a message from the President of the United States. Thank you for your time. This message is being transmitted at the request of the state government of Tennessee, in conjunction with NASA. A civil danger warning has been issued for eastern Tennessee until further notice. At around 1.30 p.m., a large piece of space debris was reported to be falling down to the Earth's surface. The origin of this object is unknown, but it is believed to be in relation to the ongoing Kessler Syndrome event that is affecting the United States. This object is likely some sort of communication satellite, due to it having an estimated size of around a small car. This satellite is expected to land somewhere in eastern Tennessee within the next hour. The exact trajectory of this object is unknown, but it is generally expected to land to the east of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Those to the west of a line going north of Chattanooga should still remain on high alert, as this object could change course at any time on its way down to the surface. At this time, all citizens within this area are being asked to remain off the road, and remain in a shelter if possible. If you spot a falling satellite, contact your local law enforcement office immediately. Please stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event.
This message is being transmitted at the request of the Knoxville Police Department. A radiological hazard warning has been issued for the Knoxville metropolitan area until further notice. At around 3.13 p.m. local time, a large satellite landed just outside the city of Maryville, Tennessee. It is currently unknown if there have been any fatalities. Preliminary investigations by local authorities have found that the satellite may contain radioactive material, which was used as a power source for the device. There is no current risk for a large explosion, but the ongoing fire coming from the wreckage may spread radioactive material into the surrounding air. If you are within the city limits of Maryville, it is advised you remain indoors until cleanup crews can safely contain the situation. An exact containment time on this event is currently unknown, but local authorities hope to have the wreckage cleaned up by tomorrow morning. Anyone within the Knoxville metropolitan area is advised to not travel towards the area of Maryville until an all-clear message is given. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being transmitted at the request of civil authorities within the Knoxville metropolitan area. A contaminated water warning has been issued for the Knoxville metropolitan area until further notice. Local water treatment plants in the area have reported high amounts of radioactive material in the local water supply. This is believed to affect the areas of, but is not limited to, Knoxville, Maryville, Lenore City, Loudoun, and Vanor. Generally, Anyone along the Tennessee River in this region should avoid using water for any means. Do not use water from any faucets in your home for drinking, cooking, washing clothes, bathing, or any other water-related activities. It is also advised you do not go into any public water sources at this time. The ingestion of radioactive materials can lead to a myriad of problems, such as radiation poisoning or radiation sickness. It is advised that if you need to drink water, you drink it from an already prepackaged source. Local authorities are working to provide clean drinking water to all residents in the area as quickly as possible. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Houston Police Department. A 9-1-1 telephone outage emergency is currently ongoing within the city of Houston, Texas. It is believed this event is occurring due to the ongoing Kessler Syndrome event affecting the United States. There have been numerous reports from NASA that many satellites that provide signals for satellite-based phones have been severely damaged. This means that many non-mobile phones, such as home phones, landlines, and other types of phones may not work as intended. Most cell phones seem to be relatively unaffected, due to their connection to land-based towers. There have been numerous reports throughout the day that many businesses were not receiving phone calls due to this event, including the local police departments. Many people reported phone calls going immediately to voicemail, or not ringing at all. At this time, local law enforcement agencies are currently trying to devise a way to receive phone calls through a cellular service, rather than a satellite-based service. If you have an emergency, you are still encouraged to attempt to call emergency services, though it is unsure if the calls will be able to be answered. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service Office in Norman, Oklahoma. A tornado watch has been issued for central and western Oklahoma until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Conditions are expected to be favorable for the development of tornadoes. Major population zones within the watch area include 
but are not limited to Oklahoma City, Norman, Fort Sill, Edmond, and Stillwater. Large, long track tornadoes are possible throughout the day today and into the early evening. Due to the ongoing Kessler syndrome event, early warnings on these developing storm systems may be difficult. While radars will still be able to track these storms, the use of overhead satellites for early detection of these storms will not be possible. This may lead to a shorter than usual early warning time on severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. If you are within the boundaries of the tornado watch, it is advised that you remain extra vigilant for rapidly changing weather conditions. Tornadoes can develop and intensify rapidly, with little to no warning. Stay tuned to local news media and the National Weather Service for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Flagstaff Fire Department, in conjunction with the National Weather Service. A wildfire warning has been issued for central and eastern Arizona until further notice. Over the past 16 hours, a wildfire has been burning within the Coconino National Forest. Due to the ongoing Kessler Syndrome event, it has been very difficult to monitor the progress of this fire. Current progress on containment is not known for sure, Due to most of the footage able to be captured on the fire has been from helicopters and drones. Due to the lack of wide-scale visual information on this fire, it is advised that anyone within the warned area remain vigilant for rapidly changing conditions regarding the wildfire. The fire may spread rapidly due to high temperatures, low humidity, and high winds in the affected area. The fire may spread out of control without warning, with little to no way to observe this rapid change. If you notice the fire beginning to spread at an accelerated pace, contact your local law enforcement agency immediately. Stay tuned to local news media and the National Weather Service for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Williams County Police Department. A shelter-in-place order has been issued for the counties of Williams, Divide, and Mackenzie. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, has detected numerous large chunks of space debris falling towards the state of North Dakota. It is expected that these objects will impact primarily on the western side of the state and will likely make impact within the next hour. Anyone within the previously named counties are advised to remain in your homes and shelters at this time. If the building you are in has a lower floor or a basement, it is advised you take shelter there until an all-clear is given. If you do not have a lower floor in your building, get to the most central room in your home. If possible, try and protect your head from falling debris. This can involve using bike helmets, pillows, getting under furniture, and other forms of cushioning. If you hear any loud crashes or explosions, do not go outside to investigate. These pieces of space debris may burst into flames or explode when they hit the ground. If you believe your shelter is at risk of catching fire, leave immediately and find shelter elsewhere. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Williams County Police Department. An immediate evacuation order has been issued for the town of Alexander, North Dakota, effective immediately. Over the past six hours, numerous large chunks of space debris impacted the area. Numerous fires have broken out, and there have been multiple reports of homes being damaged or destroyed. Current information on injuries or fatalities is unknown at this time. If you are within the town of Alexander, you are urged to leave immediately. 
Law enforcement will sweep the area for any people trapped in their homes once the area is deemed safe. Only bring the essentials with you, and do not return until an all-clear message is given. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event.